morning, everyone. It's Saturday morning, and you know what that means. Crafty Kids! So today, we are making paper plate fire dogs yes, in honor of National Fire Dog Day, which was on October 1st. Um, and I have to check out our video if you haven't seen it yet. It's a lot of fun. And um, so we can go ahead and get started. So this is the little guy that we'll be making today. Aww. Yes, in honor of Smokey, mm -hmm. the Roanoke Fire Dog. So I have named mine Smokey, mm -hmm. but you can name yours whatever you would like. Mm. So what you'll need for this craft is a paper plate, some construction paper, a marker, uh, some scissors, and some glue. And that's it. So to get started, We'll take our paper plate and we're gonna flip it over so that it kind of bows up a little bit. And then we'll take our, let's start with our hat. Mm. That's a lot of fun. So here is the shape of the hat that we're gonna go for. So all you do is take a half sheet of paper, mm -hmm. cut around the edge like that. And then we're pretty much making a triangle upwards. It's a little bit rounder than a triangle though. So, but however you do it is going to be just fine. As long as there's a little point at the top. And then we round off that corner and there is our fire dog hat. Yay! Yay! And then next thing I think I'll do is make us some ears. Mm. So I'm going to take another half sheet of paper and just cut a little bit off of it because we're going to also need to make a little nose for our doggy. Yeah, it's very exciting. So then I'm going to cut this one in half like so. So we have two long pieces and then I'm going to put them right on top of each other mm -hmm. and cut out the shape of a doggy ear. So I'm going to round off there. And at the top. Now I am going to leave a little point on it mm. because that's going to go underneath the hat. That. Oh. So you have a little extra space to deal with that. And then for a doggy nose, does mm -hmm. anybody know what a doggy nose looks like? Mm. So. What does a doggy nose look like? It's again a little bit like a triangle oh. with some rounded sides. So cut out a little doggy nose. Aw, yay. Yes. So now that we have that set, we have almost everything cut out now. Lots of triangles in this <laughs> because we're gonna have one more rounded triangle for our badge on top um, of our hat. Yes. That way all official. I know, right? Mm -hmm. You have to be official about it. So I'm going to cut off a little piece like this, just to start. Mm -hmm. And then, again, we're going to have some rounded edges for our triangle. And you can cut it straight across to start. So we have mm -hmm. rounded edge, rounded edge, straight across. And then you're just going to cut a little dip here and a little dip there. Mm -hmm. And then your <laughs> There you go. Yay. So I think this doggy is going to be named Spot. Ah. Because lots of Dalmatians have spots. Mm -hmm. And Dalmatians are often used as fire dogs. Mm -hmm. But as you saw in our video, we have a very special fire dog. Mm hmm. Smokey doesn't have spots because he doesn't need them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we have all of our fun things set out in front of us and our plate and our glue. So mm -hmm. we're just going to take a little bit of glue and put our little nose on right in the middle of the plate there. Nice. Yes. And it already starts looking like a dog. I don't know. Does that look like a dog to you? A little bit. It looks like a dog to me. So then we put a little bit of glue down the side. Both sides we'll do it once. And then we're going to take our ears, make sure that little pointy thing is sticking in. Mm -hmm. And we put 
put those on our little doggy. You want to leave a little space at the top. Mm -hmm. Is that where the hat goes? That is where the hat goes. <laughs> it's very exciting. So then we're going to add a little more glue right at the top here. And we're going to put our hat on. <laughs> Yay. Okay, and then don't forget the badge. Mm, very important. Yes. Put a little glue on the back of the badge. Got to be official if you're fighting fires. You do. You do. Yes. All right. So there you go. That is <gasps> all of our <laughs> all of our construction paper glued on. And now we take our marker. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw the doggy's mouth. Mm. Yes. And that is just with two little lines mm -hmm. that go like that. And some doggy eyes. I'm going to draw two circles. And then another circle inside. Like that. Oh, very good. Nice. Yeah. And then once we're here, what is this doggy missing? Hmm. hmm. His name is Spot. I know. Maybe it's Spot! Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Mr. Ross. Mm-hmm. So helpful. We're just gonna put some spots all over this little guy. You can do as many or as few as you want because all doggies look different. Mm -hmm. And they can be all the same size or all different sizes. Put a few little ones in there too, just for fun. Yeah. Put one up here, one over here. All right. And there is our Aww. fire dog. Hooray! So that is all we have for today. But next week, we are going to be starting our fall themed October. Ooh. Yes. And we're going to be starting off with clothespin mushrooms. Mm, very very fun. exciting. They're very cute. I've seen them already. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what you'll need for that craft is some clothespins, some construction paper, glue, and scissors. All right. So join us again on Saturday next week, and we can't wait to see you then. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Smokey. You look like a hot dog. Yeah, it's been a rough day. Ruff, ruff, ruff. If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube. And like and share on Facebook. Help us share our crafts with as many kids as we can. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.